Hi everyone, it's Talia and today I'm having you plan January with me. So this is my Berry Color Bullet Journal. If you watched my Bullet Journal versus Original Loist Germ comparison, then this is that one and I'm going to be moving into it in January out of my lemony yellow which is my second bullet journal my first one was not in a loish germ it was in a general one which you can see if you watch my video journey to planner piece so I'm really excited to be moving into my berry one and so I wanted to show you what I have done so far to plan for January Oh, and before I go on, the things I wanted to tell you is these are the only things I use so far for my setup. I have um, all the black lines are done with my precise V5 Rolling Ball Extra Fine pen by Pilot. And that's my favorite pen to use in my bullet journal. I also have a uh, Tombow that I used went with a yellow and black theme. And it's number 055, if you're not sure which lemony yellow that is. Um, and then I used my yellow tape that came from my Washi Recollections from Michaels. You've probably seen this kit. They have it for $10 for all these. So I, as soon as I heard about that from a friend, I ran over and picked it up because I have a lot of blues and greens and pinks but I didn't have any yellow or black so I was very excited to get in there and get this set so I used the striped yellow out of there okay so let's dive in okay I don't have anything in my table of contents yet I didn't update it so here is my first page and I decided since it was just a one page that I would find a quote that I wanted to start off the new year with and that one is stop being afraid of what could go wrong and focus on what could go right and I had meant for it to be all lowercase after the S so that's why I didn't bold that one in because I was trying to minimize its appearance but you know I'm fine with it we all make mistakes and we move on so let's move on <laughs> okay as you can see my Pilot pen gives me a little a fair amount of ghosting, especially when I do some faux calligraphy with it, which I did on that page. It's pretty, pretty thick shading in there, but I don't mind the ghosting. So, and you guys probably can't even see the ghosting. Ah, it's still there. You guys can see it on the monitor. Okay. Okay. So um, here I have my month of January. And it's just very standard bullet journal, but I love this black and yellow theme. It's so cute. And here's my task list. And I just went with block letter with yellow polka dots to go with my stripes. And then over here I have my meal tracker. Um, and my January habit tracker, which I haven't filled in any of my habits yet. I'll have to do that for you guys. And then, believe it or not, after I got done with all that, I said, wait a second, what about my future log? <laughs> so I haven't put my future log in, but that's okay because I watched a video this morning by Sunshine Sticker and Company, and I'm really excited to do um, my future log inspired by her. Um, it's funny, I'm going to do one, it's it's a slightly different from hers because I thought she was going to do something and then she did something different, so we're going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so, never done one of these before, hopefully everything, I'll make sure everything's in focus, everything's in the shot, so that you guys can all see me do my future log.
here's my future log in all its glory or lack thereof. I kind of messed up on the B and I continued past 28. What could I say? Part of my brain that was paying attention to months was not there. It was just the number part. I messed up a few places, but I'm not going to let it get to me because, hey, I got a future log. So again, Sunshine Sticker and Co. she did something similar, so I'll link her video below since I want to give credit where credit is due. But that completes my plan with me, and I'm very excited about starting in January. So thank you everyone for watching. Goodbye!